Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I will show you how we can use Power Automate to send a document for e-signature. And once the user sign the document, saving the document back to the SharePoint document library. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're going to learn today how we can use Power Automate to send a document for e-signature, allow user to e-sign the document, and once the document being signed, getting the PDF of the document and saving it back to the SharePoint. So the first thing, uh, I have my SharePoint site here. This is the document library, what I'm going to use to upload the document, and also once the document is signed, the PDF will be saved to this document library. Next thing, we will open the Power Automate and create our flow that will get the document, send the document for e-signature and also get the final PDF. Okay, so I logged into my Power Automate and then I'm going to click on create. And we are creating this as automated cloud flow. And why we are doing so? Because what we want to happen, whenever someone is going to upload the document to this document library, the flow will trigger it will get the document and send the document for e-signature. You can use other trigger as well. So feel free to change it, whichever trigger is applicable in your use case. Okay, so we have this trigger called when a file is created. I'm going to select that, click create. Okay, I'm going to select the site address, library name. So the trigger is ready. The trigger is going to be when a file is created into this agreement library. The next step that we're going to do we need to get the content of the file. So this trigger is going to just give me the property of the file. But to send the file for e-signature, we need the content of the file as well. So we are going to use another action. Okay, so get file content. Select the site address again. And the file identifier is going to be once you select the box, on the right hand box, if you keep scrolling down, you will find an identifier here. Okay, so far so good. Now the biggest question that how we're going to send this document for e-signature. Okay, so for that, if you click on the news tab and search for Adobe, okay, you will see there are two connectors available for Adobe sign. Those are standard connectors. So these are not premium. And there is one called Adobe Acrobat Sign and another one is Sandbox. So we're going to try to use the sign. Okay. Now, once you select that, you can see there are so many different actions that you can perform. We are going to use some of them to complete the use case. But before you do that, understand one thing that this connector is a standard. But to use this connector, you should have an Adobe account. Okay. So if you click on the help icon and if you go to the learn more just to see what this connector is all about you can read about this what this connector is all about okay and then if you look down here it's saying to use the connector you can create a trial account so to test the functionality you can always create a trial account and if you have a license you can always use your license account Okay, so this is the minimum requirement that you should have an Adobe account to use the connector, but connector itself is free. Okay, now there's few things that you need to understand when you are sending the document for Adobe eSignature, right? The first thing is the document that you are sending should have a valid document ID in Adobe. Okay, so what you need to do first thing, you need to get this document that is uploaded to the SharePoint and upload this document to the Adobe get the document ID that you can use to send for the signature. So if you search for upload document, there is an action called upload a document and get a document ID. So this is the first thing that we're going to use. Okay, select that. It's going to ask for the file name. You can give a custom file name or you can use the file name that actually the document name. And you can find that is file name with extension. Okay. And file content is the file content that we are getting from get file content. Okay, so this action will give you the document ID. Now, the next thing that we need to do, you need to 
create an agreement of this document that you just uploaded and send the document for e-signature. So we will search again for Adobe and create. Okay, and there's multiple create actions like create an agreement from the file. What we are going to use is create an agreement from an uploaded document and send for signature. Okay, so select that action. Once you select that action, it's going to ask you so many other things. So let's go one by one. The agreement name. Of course, you can give a custom name or you can use the same as file name. At this point of time, I'm going to use the file name, but feel free to give whatever name that you want to give to your agreement. Then the second thing is document ID. So, you know, we already have this action. So this is going to give you the document ID. Okay. Then after that, you have the signature type. So there's two ways you can send for signature e-sign. This is once the user is going to receive the email for e-signature, they will be able to sign online. So they can do the e-signature. Or you can select the written that will allow them to download the document and upload it back to the Adobe. We are going to use e-sign. Then we have all the different participants that you can use and you can have more than one participant as well. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just send it to my other email. So you can select any email address here. This, this can be any email address, Outlook, Gmail or whatever, external, internal. Then you can also select the authentication type. So if you want user to be authenticated, you can select either no authentication or password, phone or others. We don't need authentication at this point of time, so we are not going to use it. But if you use other, like if you use password, then you need to provide the password here, okay? Then you can also select the order if you have more than one participant that you are sending this file to be signed. You can select the order and you can also define their role. So whether they are signer, approver, and you have all these default value here and you can also create your own custom. For us, this is the signer and I click save. Okay, so at this point of time, what we have done, we were able to get the file content, get the document ID and send this file for the e-signature. If your use case is just to send the file for e-signature, this is it. You can use it. You can go ahead and test it and everything is going to be looks good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try that. Click save and we're going to test this scenario. Okay, and what I did, I select manually. So what this is going to allow me to test. It's going to wait until I go to this library and upload a document. Okay, so I have this sample document that I'm going to upload here. Okay, and if I go back to my flow, so the flow is going to trigger, as you can see here. It's going to get the document ID and the email should be gone to my other email address that I will quickly check. So as you can see here, I have received this email agreement to receive electronic communication docs. This is my agreement name. I use the file name, if you remember. So it's showing if you use other name, it will show you that name as well. And I'm in my email, so I can click on review and sign. It will open the document in the browser. And I don't need to log in or do anything to do this. As you can see here, I can click continue and I can click sign, apply and click and sign. Yes, all done. So this part is pretty straightforward. I was able to send the document and the user able to sign the document and once the signature complete, user will receive an email with the link to the signed document, okay? Now in some scenario, this is not the only thing that you wanna do, right? So sometimes we also want to do that once the user signed the document, let's get a document PDF and save it to the document library for a record, okay? So for doing that, we need to use a couple of more actions that is still available in this Adobe connector that you can use to check whether the document has signed or not. And then if it is signed, then get the document PDF and store it to, into the document library. So for that, we need to click on the new step. And one more thing, if, you, if you're if you gonna use the first time this Adobe connector, because I have used it before, so it didn't ask me for the login, but once you use the first time, it will ask you to log in with your Adobe login credentials. So whether it's a trial account or your real account, log in with that and it will create that connection so that you can use this, okay? So the next thing that we need to understand when this action is gonna send that email like it did right now, I receive an email, 
it's not necessary that I will get an email and immediately sign it, right? So you need to wait for user to complete the signature. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a delay command here or delay action. And for this video, I'm keeping it 10 seconds. But in real scenario, you can decide how long you want to wait or generally, for example, one day or maybe one hour, whichever is applicable in your, in your case, you need to define the delay. So the flow will send the document. It will wait for that predefined time. And the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to get the status of the agreement, like checking whether the document has been signed or not. So again, another Adobe action is going to be get the status, get a status of an agreement, an agreement ID. You will get it from create an agreement from an uploaded document action that we just used to send this document for signature. Okay. And once you get the status, it's going to give you a response whether it is signed or not. And what we're going to do, we're going to store this information into the variable. So if it is not signed, we're going to again check it after a certain time and keep checking until the document is signed. Okay. So we're going to initialize variable here. Okay. Status type string. And what we are setting it up to from the get the status of an agreement status okay now if the document is signed within 10 seconds or within whatever delay that we are putting in perfect we are all good but that's not practically always going to be true so let's say if the document is not signed we cannot get the pdf because document is not signed so what we're going to do we're going to wait until document signed so to wait what i'm going to do or we can use we can use to until so we're going to create a loop that's going to keep checking okay and what it is check checking the variable remember you are using the variable not the status column so variable is equal to all uppercase signed because this is what going to be the status when the document is signed okay so what we are saying keep checking in until the status becomes signed okay the action that we're going to do here is very similar what we have done on the top we're going to check the status again set the variable again put the delay of whatever long we want to wait and then keep rolling into this loop okay so what you can do you can copy this action to the clipboard and use again so again we are checking the status then next we are going to set the variable that we have created this time it's going to be set variable status remember that this time the variable we are setting into is the second action of getting status okay and the next one another delay that we're going to do again i'm going to set it set it to 10 seconds but in your scenario you can set it to one day or whichever is applicable so this two until is good the next step that we're going to do now we're going to get the pdf because if it is completed we know that status has been signed so again Adobe and this time we're going to use get PDF of a signed document. Okay. Again, it's going to ask you the agreement ID. This is the same ID that we are using. Okay. So now this will give us the content of the file as a PDF format. The only step left for us to saving this document or signed PDF into our document library. So this time we will use the SharePoint action, create file, site address, Folder path is nothing but your document library. So in my case, it is agreement. Okay, so my document library is approval. Now the file name. So you remember we are saving this document as a PDF. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna select the file name, go to the expression. We're gonna create the file name. So we're gonna use concat. Then we are going to dynamic content here. And from our original when file is created action, we're going to just pick the file name without extension. Okay. So the name, this is just going to be the file name, comma, dot PDF. Okay. So what we are doing, we are picking up the file name and adding extension dot PDF clip. Okay. So this will be the file name. File content is the get a PDF signed document response. So this one, file content. Okay click save and our flow is ready so now we're going to test it okay we will test again click test okay dragging and dropping the document that we have go back to flow let's wait for it to trigger 
Okay, so yeah, so I may have received the email by now. I'm gonna go back and check my email. Okay, so I did receive an email. And as you can see here, it passed the first loop, but I have not signed. So it's now into this do until loop until I'm gonna sign. So I'm gonna continue, sign the document. Okay, so now, and the next time it's gonna check, the document status should be signed and it will move to the next step. There you go, right? So it's get the PDF as you can see here. And now what it is doing, it is creating a file into the SharePoint document library. So if I refresh this file, you can see the PDF document is created. And if I open, the document is here, the signature is here. So now I have PDF version automatically saved to my document library. Yeah, so this is all for this video. I hope this will help you. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you.